In this video, we're going to be checking for extraneous solutions after we solve this equation. All right, so to start out with, you're not going to realize or know whether or not there's going to be any extraneous roots. You're just going to have to solve it and then see what happens. Okay, so in this equation right here, the first thing I'm going to do to solve this would be to square both sides. All right, the square root and the square on the left-hand side is going to go away. This is going to be an x minus 6 times an x minus 6. So basically, we're going to be foiling that out. So then we're going to have an x squared minus a 12x plus a 36. At this point, we want to move all of our terms to the right-hand side of the equation. So we'll subtract x and we'll subtract x. That's going to give us a 0 is equal to x squared and then minus 13x <clears throat> plus the 36. All right, you can use quadratic formula. You could complete the square or you could try factoring. So I would always recommend trying factoring whenever you have a quadratic in the hopes that it will factor. All right, so we need a positive 36 here and a negative 13 in the middle. 9 times 4 is 36. If I make them both negative, that'll give me the negative 13 in the middle and it'll give me the positive 36 there. So from there, we set everything equal to 0. So this will give us an x equals 4. That'll give us an x equals 9. Now at this point, you cannot just stop and assume that those are your solutions. You need to check to see if they are extraneous roots. So you need to go through that check process. All right, we're going to first start with the x equals 4. Okay, and we're going to plug it in to the original equation. So square root of 4 is equal to a 4 minus 6 question mark because I don't know if this is going to be equal or not. Square root of 4 is 2. Again, is this going to be equal to 4 minus 6? That's going to give me a negative 2. So no, I do not get an equal thing, uh, equal statement here. So x equals 4 is not one of our solutions. We have to throw it out. We're going to throw it out. It is an extraneous root. Now we're going to go ahead and check the x equals 9. We'll plug that in. So square root of 9 does that equal a 9 minus a 6? Square root of 9 on this side is 3. 9 minus 6 on this side is 3. It does check. So that turns out to be my only solution to this equation. So definitely just an example here to remind you that when you are solving equations, you should always plug them back into the original equation, check to see if they work, because there can be extraneous roots which you need to throw out. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.